We asked our commentators from the left and from the right, what is the lesson from the battle over union bargaining rights in Wisconsin? Straight talk from the right and from the left. Whenever anyone says it's not about the money, you can bet it's about the money. In fact, there's just one time when it's not about the money, when it's about the power. In Wisconsin, it's not about the money. The money, the changes in health care and pension arrangements for state employees, has already been agreed on. And the whole amount the unions are giving back is just about the size of the governor's new business tax break. The entire amount of money the governor wants from the unions is just a tiny fraction of the state's budget shortfall for the next two years. What the fight is about in Wisconsin, the reason the governor refuses to take yes for an answer, is about cutting back the union's bargaining power and crushing their political presence. That way, Republicans like the governor will have a much easier time winning elections and doing whatever they want with tax rates and cutting away at regulations protecting labor and the environment. See, whenever anyone says it's not about the money, it's always about the money. Now, straight talk from the right. Taxpayers got some real live lessons about life in the abomination. Public sector workers deserve to get better pay, job security, benefits, and pensions than the taxpayers they serve, even when it threatens to send their states into bankruptcy. Democrat state lawmakers have the right to simply shut down the legislature and refuse to allow a vote any time they're on track to lose the vote. A governor who tries to limit collective bargaining to just salary and benefits is denying workers their collective bargaining rights. Unions have the right to use the taxpayer-owned state payroll system to collect their union dues and to raise money to bribe politicians who decide the pay and benefits of public workers. Teachers tell us it's all about the children, but if you have to shut down the schools and send the kids into summer overtime to obtain better pay and benefits, that's okay. It's time America adopted FDR's position on unions in public employment. They don't belong. Thank you to my guests and thank you for watching. See you next week for Straight Talk.